Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the code forces problem B, Fence and Candies of round 75 division 3. So this is a very very simple problem. So it said that Polycarp has n friends and the i-th of his friend has the i candies, basically an array. And Polycarp's friends do not like when they have different number of candies. In other words, they want all i to be the same. To solve this, Polycarp performs the following set of actions exactly once. So we want all the elements in the array to be the same value. So Polycarp chooses k arbitrary friends, meaning he chooses k elements and it doesn't matter the index, he can choose any of those k elements. Then he takes their candies and sums it and then distributes those candies to everyone. Any number of candy can be given to any person, it doesn't matter the order, okay? And so we want to find the minimum value of k so that this can happen. If you didn't understand, there's an example given. So n is 4 and these are the number of candies initially, 4, 5, 2, 5, we want them to be equal, okay? So he chooses k is equal to 2 and he can choose any two friends, he chooses this and this. So total number of candies now he has is 10 and then he redistributes them. How does he redistribute? He gives 2 to this and then 4 and 4 will be left here. So it will be 4, 4, 4, 4, all of them will have equal number of candies. And so we got the answer. So we want to find the minimum number of k, so the minimum number of friends which we can select and redistribute their candies so everyone will have the same number of candies. If we can do that, good, put the answer, otherwise we put the answer as minus 1. So first, very simple, when will the answer be minus 1, answer will be minus 1, when the total sum cannot be divided equally, right? So here you can see that the total is what, 4 plus 5, 9, plus 2, 11, plus 5, 16. So 16 can be equally divided into 4 parts. However, if suppose the sum was 17, that 17 cannot be divided into equal parts. So if sum of every element in the array is divided by n, the total number of elements, the total number of elements, then the answer will be something. but if the sum is not divisible by n, then the answer will be minus 1 because we cannot redistribute, it just cannot happen. Now, how will we find k? So, let's see that. So, let's work with this example only for now. So, what we have is we have 4, 5, 2, 5, okay? Now, just think, what is the number which, what is the number of candies that everyone should get? So, first calculate the sum. Sum is 16, like I already said. And what is n? n is 4, the number of uh, friends. So what should be the ideal amount of candies that everyone should have so that everyone has equal candy. So that will be sum by n and that will be 4. So everyone should have 4 candies. So this is my scene. 4, 5, 2, 5. And instead what should everyone have? 4, 4, 4, 4. So those who have candies lesser than what they should have don't need to do anything. Those who have candies more than what they should have, they need to be redistributed. So you can see that there are only two values, this and this, which have more than they should have. And so the answer is 2. So we want to count the number of elements. So count the number of elements of elements such that their candies, their candies is greater than what should have. Okay. And what should have is sum by n. So basically if a of i greater than sum by n, then you do count plus plus. That's it. Because understand, if you have more candies than what you should have, then your candy should be taken in a bulk and divided. And that's what you're doing with the K friends. So that's it. All you have to do is find what can number of candies everyone should have. And then from your array, if someone has more candies than what they should have, then they are they will be a part of those K friends. That's it. And if you want to take a look at the code, then this is it. Nothing much, just sum it up and if sum is not divisible, minus 1, else uh, x is equal to sum by n and like I said, if a of i is greater than sum by n, then count k plus plus and then output k. So that's it. A very, very simple problem. If you have any doubts, just put them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.